It is a tie ball game with one quarter left to go. Pulls up from deep. Oh my goodness. TJ Clark. Way to answer. Six, five, four, back. three, four, two. Rebound. Oh! A man might have just saved the game. Need to at least make the second one. Oh, it's both. Less than 10 seconds, man. Two point game. Pulls in. What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? From that's, the Ethan turnover, and just like that, the City Reapers take game one of the OTE Finals, 81 to 77. at the beautiful OTE Arena for game two of the OTE Finals. Game one was a classic, so if this game is anything like that, man, we are in for a good one. First seed, Seed Reapers, going up against the second seed, YNG Dreamers. I'll be your host, Agent Zero, also joined by Duke Dennis. What's up? We got I'm Davis in the cut. Greetings, everybody. Hey, this is set to be a good game. The last one was incredibly close. Probably the closest building, the closest game we've seen in this building, Davis. And it went down to the wire. Man, last game was a OTE hardwood classic. There were 15 <laughs> different lead changes. And, and personally, this is the best I've seen these two teams play all season. I think this is the highest quality level of basketball. People were hitting crazy shots while playing excellent defense. And YNG had a chance to, in, to win at the end but they quite literally fumbled the bag. Missed no. free throws, turnovers at the end. They really lost the game for themselves. Yep, and one player that didn't fumble away his opportunity was Bryson Tiller. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, Bryson Tiller probably had the best game of his career in this building. It seemed like he could do no wrong on both offense and defense end of the court. And, and it's like he didn't even miss no shots. Like, all his shots was all net. And it's like, they didn't even hit rim. That's how good he was playing. Yep. We were used to seeing Amen, Asar, and Eli step up when Bryson stepping up. It's dangerous. Who's, who's, uh, who would you give a player comp to with Bryson Tiller, dude? I'm going to go ahead and keep it all the way up down. I say Kawhi Leonard, right? Really? Yeah, but like... Once he become more ball dominant, then that's when I, you know what I'm saying, Kawhi Leonard. Okay, you know what? We'll give him room to grow, too, because Bryson Tiller is one of the youngest inside this entire building. Yeah. On the other side of the ball, though, the YNG Dreamers, I feel like we're so used to seeing their bench needing to be the ones to step up, but yesterday was an odd case of seeing their starters go quiet. Bryson Warren here, so used to seeing him be a consistent scorer, was quiet so far in game one of the OTE Finals. Uh, Alex Saar, didn't even play much of the fourth quarter. We were surprised to see that because rebounding played such a pivotal role in the, how the game ended. I think Amen was the one to close out with the game winning rebound. And of course, their star since he's came back from injury, Jalen Martin was basically nil all game long. So we'll need to see all three of them step up here in game two if they have any chance at beating the City Reapers. But before we get to that though, let's take a look at the starting lineups first for, this, for the YG Dreamers. First up, we got Ethan Almanza, projected 16th in the 2024 draft. Kanan K9 Carlisle, committed to Stanford. Alex Saar, projected 17th in the 2024 class. Jay Gort, team captain for YNG. And of course, Jalen Martin. Next, let's take a look at the City Reaper starting lineup. Starters for the City Reapers. First up, fan favorite, Eli Ellis. Amen Thompson, projected third in this 2023 NBA draft. Followed by Big Nate. 
Bryson Tiller, we just talked about having a big game one. We'll need him to step up in game two as well. And last but not least, Asar Thompson. Man, I said it in game one, and I'll say it again. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. First seed versus second seed. Who y'all got? I got the Reapers, man. I got the Reapers. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Davis? I'm gonna save my pick. No, you have to pick. You have to pick. Okay. The Dreamers. I'll go Reapers. Two, two of you won. All right, looks like we got time for a vibe cam to get things started. Thanks, fellas. Hey, we're down here with the coaches. Coach Banning, last night, kind of a brutal game. I think the officials played a big part in it. Do you blame the officials for last night's L, or is that on you guys? Uh, it was a tough loss. We got to get over it. We got another game tonight. I'm not going to get into it. Uh, but there is some science behind hand goes down, ball goes forward. Who it's off, talk to the science teacher. I don't know. All right, that's very fair. Coach Leto, it's Coach Banning's birthday, so can you, can you give that one to him? Happy birthday, my man. That, I'm going to give you some strokes next time. Well, I got Coach Banning signed, too. Coach Banning. I got you a referee shirt. If you want to get out there, if you want me to get out there tonight, back to you guys. Let's get this thing going. Let's get it going, man. Well, happy birthday, Coach. You. Wow. Happy birthday, Coach. Let's let's see if his team can get him a birthday win. Hey, if they don't win tonight, they don't care about him. <laughs> For real. Nah, I, I, can, I can see that being the case. Yeah. So you telling me y'all could? Oh, there we go. Downhill, lay. Uh, wow. It could have been a foul. It, it probably could have been, but I think they didn't want to blow the whistle so quick. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Vibe of the game. Yeah. Oh, early morning. Bro, if, bro, if the Dreamers got any chance to win, they cannot just let them shoot, bro. And the City Reapers actually have to continue to shoot well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I stop. Stop. I, I, I don't think. Bro, I'm stop no. letting them shoot. I just had to. Asar Thompson has been scorching. Yo, he's playoffs. been insane. He's been shooting the ball really well from three point. I tell and you at a high volume, too. Yeah, he's bro, hit, don't make me mad early. Like, he's he like hit eight bro. threes in his last two games. And we're talking about Asar Thompson, a guy who would, like, refuse to shoot threes in season one. I mean, that shows the development. That is insane, man. Jay Gord coming to hoop today. Alex Sar. I think that's a shot clock violation. Yep. And, 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 way. And, and you know what I never understood, though? What's that? So, boom, right? Basketball players live in the gym, right? Uh -huh, right. And when they have games, nine times out of ten, they... Oh, oh got him moving. He touched the floor. Asar thought about it. Hey, now if he pull up another one, I'm about to have a problem. <laughs> Might as well. He got the mismatch with Ethan on him. Good defense. Travel, 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 travel. Way to stay with him, Ethan. <laughs> Showing us a little bit of versatility on the perimeter. But yeah, baby, what I said, like, they live in the gym, and I know they was shooting up shots, getting up shots before the game. How do you air ball the first shot? That's true. Yeah. That's very true. I mean, I know it's in-game jitters. Yeah, yeah, it's a bad nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First shot, <laughs> air ball is insane. <laughs> that is insane. Man, Dreamers can't get anything going to start off the game so far. Jalen Martin. Came back from hamstring injury a couple months ago and has tore it up. Offensively and defensively, had such a massive playoffs too. Big reason why the Dreamers were able to, able to beat Word of God in the semifinals, but was so quiet yesterday, I couldn't even tell he was on the court. <laughs> I got a quick question for the people in the YouTube chat. Who y'all got winning this game, Dreamers or Reapers? Y'all think the Dreamers get upset? Yeah, pull that up. If they do, oh, oh man. Might man. be a turnover. Yeah, backcourt violation. Reapers get it. Look, look, look cold in here. A little chilly, man. A, a nice chilly. draft of air conditioning. Yeah, I think, yeah. Get a little draft. All right. Game's starting a lot slower. Bryson Tiller. Than it did yesterday. Yesterday, they were coming out the gate shooting. Yeah, that's true, man. A lot of offense to start yesterday's game. Today, a little slower. Yep. Cross court pass, oh, deep man. three. A man doesn't go. I saw a star practicing like 26 foot threes before the game. Oh, yeah, but you, you're not going to need to. Well, he might actually, he I might guess. Have, I don't know. In 2023, man, maybe that's the shot that's necessary. Yeah, I saw you practicing fadeaway threes today. Jalen Martin. Nope. Good defense from Eli. You said what? So you practicing fadeaway threes today, and I don't think you need those. No, that's my that's my signature shot. Okay, he hit yeah. it once versus RDC. Oh, oh man, big Nate no. spin. Smoked it. Oh, okay. Foul, foul. called. Foul, foul, foul. Yeah, hit on the arm. 
it, is it me? Maybe as someone who doesn't dunk that often, I feel like he, he, he should dunk that. Of course. I mean, in a, I, I would have dunked it. I would have tried to at least. Yeah. I guess y'all not being defended by like sure seven foot one big yeah, man. That's right. probably why you think that. You're right. Yeah. But like, you know, when I want to slam ball right. court, I'm thinking dunk right. every time. Balance. And technically, to them, this is a slam ball court. Technically. That's a good point. That's not true. No, they can dunk it's like easily though. Is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So like, if I could dunk easily, I'm gonna dunk. The world is their slam ball court. Yeah, the world, the regular court is their slam ball court. So. <laughs> Dreamer is yet to get on the board in he three did. minutes of action. J Mart, I guess like I need I need a lot out of J Mart. He needs to drop at least 20 today. I, I agree, because he was such a fundamental a part of their playoff run. He got to show up today. Make sure to like up the stream if you're in the stream. 3,000 people in the, in the stream. But only 200 likes. That's not a too bad. Full court trap. Trying to force a turnover. Yeah. Dreamers break it. Wide open three. Connects. K9. Picking up where he left off last night. K9 surprised me yesterday. Oh, 100%. He stepped up. K9 stepped up. And Ethan hit the three. I mean, I'm telling you, yesterday was a was a very fast, high scoring first half. It's still down with is on fire. Yo, he cannot miss from three. Bro, it's over. Already? It just started. So, like, here's, here's what I got to say, right? If the Thompson twins start hitting threes, like they do, man, it's, it's, it's over. Yep. Yep. <laughs> like, you heard me screaming. I, I said at the start of the game, man, you cannot let these, these boys just shoot wide open threes. And they're shooting and wide, open, yeah, they're threes. Shooting wide, wide open, open threes. The, the, the key to being the City Reapers early in the season seemed to be let them shoot. But I don't know if that's the case anymore. Tip doesn't go. Asar comes down with it. Football lob up to a man. That's just not a charge. I guess it is a charge. Can I just sold it? Okay, so? Yeah, I don't, I don't think a grown, I don't think a grown person like falls that quickly. That's that, that, that's, that's a charge. That's, that's a charge. What? But he sold it too. What? That's not a charge. He sold it too. Chat, y'all think that's a charge? Yes or no? He put his shoulder down. Patty McCarty said Reapers by seven is my prediction. The charge Fair. and the three. Now, he was a big reason they even stayed in the game. Yep, and, and he's going to need to continue that output. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh Risky pass there. Still, still Dreamers ball. Dreamers can't afford to start slow against the Reapers. You might be able to get away with that against another team, but against the Reapers. Okay, Ethan. Ethan. Very quick lay. Ethan's been having a great playoffs, man. Up until that turnover at the end of last game, he's been doing fantastic. Uh -oh. Another turnover. Dreamers keep it. You. KG Carter said, hey, Davis. How you doing, KG Carter? Oh, what a good guy, man. What a great guy. KG Carter. Ethan trying to work in the post. Out to oh, Jalen Martin on the drive. Over to Alistair. Good hit. Put the finish. I like that right there. I like the facilitation of the team. And, and what's unfortunate is Ryan Bewley just came back in. Yeah. And he got dunked on immediately. Yeah, so Bewley back in for the Reapers. Oh. Hey, Martin yeah, he been hooping. Yeah. That was big, though. I think some people might call it a grown man move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people probably. Yeah. K9 gets it over to Jay Gore. Eight on the clock. Oh, man. Alasar, oh, corner three. That was, that, was, that, was, that was very special right there. Hey, you heard you. Hey, Tom Swiss, hey, listen. Don't help. Leave me on the island. That's why a wide open threes are being shot right yep. now. Ten up. That's how I look about this Jamer team. They never gonna back down. I feel like when you're playing at the wreck, you could probably leave people open because they all suck. But on this court, man, that's an awful business decision. Rare, rare lack of communication between the twins. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that all season, man. Literally. Look at Alex. Sorry, just unfortunate. That's that's the most definitely an one. <laughs> Jay Corp being defended closely, gets it back. 
Double team now. Looking to survive. Gets it over to Ethan. Oh, what a pass. Back to Jay Corner. Three. Oh, yeah. You got to follow your shot, kids. Jay Mark Corner. Oh, they're going to need him to hit. Yeah, there you go. So you see Hassan getting bored. Yeah. He, he there. Alex Starr didn't play at the end of game one. Interesting decision from the, from the birthday man. I like this. I want to see Alex Starr in the clutch today. I agree. Game one was so close. I think they said it was 15 uh, like lead changes. Fit yeah, it was. 15. Incredible. So if this game is anything like that, man, I want to see Alex Starr in the clutch. Purely back in for game two. They were missing him game one. You could feel it, too. Like, the presence down low. Bewley's such an inside player. We call him the cleanup guy for a reason. He's wherever the ball is, man. Always trying to find ways to bring energy to his team, man. He's going to be necessary if they're going to win today. 10-10. Very disruptive. 10 up. Bryson. No scoring game so far. Oh, yeah. Bryson Warren is a player that I need to see. Oh, yeah. 100%. Notice that he's not starting today. Oh, my goodness. Good defense. Getting aggressive. Jump ball call. Jump ball call by the referee. Reapers get it. Trey Parker in. Trey Parker, shot has, man, his shot done got way better. Yep. Be sure to like up the stream. We got 280 likes. Let's get to 300. Just, we, can we just get 20 people to like it up real quick? Something like it, AJ. We'll probably get like a thousand people to like it up. They're hitting it right now as you speak, Davis. You think so? Yeah. Nah, yeah, to be yeah. honest, all I ask for is just hey, the nice, one nice. person like it. Okay, so we have 280. You just want to get 281? Yeah, so can I just get yeah. one person to like it? That's it? Okay. That's not good. They ain't, they ain't much That's either. Not too That's I'll not just be asking for like doable stuff. That's fair. That's very fair. If you're that one person, please let us know, and we greatly appreciate you. Trey Parker, three, connects. Oh, man, and you just talked about it, dude. Like, man, listen, man, I'm a great scout. You know, I think one of my careers after, after I, you know, leave YouTube is, you know, scouting as an NBA scout. You're, you're playing on leaving YouTube? Oh, yeah. You're, you're thinking about having a graceful exit, like Drizzy? <laughs> <laughs> Alex Sar gets it in the corner. J. Lou. Oh, my goodness. And you know what's crazy? Up. Listen, you know what's crazy? And I'm not here to critique, right? Bryson uh, Tiller, right, is literally helping out of the corner, leaving people open in the corner. You notice that? Yeah. See, first, I, first uh, the top twin said, don't help. When when, when Jay Gordon dished it to Sar, but, you know, he just did the same thing. Okay. Maybe he should be a scout. Yeah. Um, you know, Trey uh, Parker flew in three. See, watch this right here. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this three right here. All right, boom. You see him help. Wide open. But that was just a rotation, I guess, right? But he he, he did it last. Oh man, a man probably got fouled there on the loose ball. I can't believe they wow. call it. He basically pushed a man out of the way to get it. <laughs> hey, I like to let him play. Last night, OTE honored the class of 2023. Special shout out to the 17 seniors graduating high school and the seven honorees progressing to the next stage of their basketball careers post OTE. It's been a pleasure watching all of y'all grow, man. I cannot wait to see what y'all do in the future. Play professionally. Feel me? I know some of them have aspirations to be here in the booth. Some of the, I, sure. Whatever it is, man. Hey, I got I got a little teary eyed watching it yesterday, man. Yeah, I know, me too. Actually. It was a great moment. All their families were in the building. I mean, Emotional we, moment. We done been here since the beginning. I know. I know. Just like just like you know, what I'm saying a lot of them were pioneers. We pioneers too. Yeah. So okay. like you know, what I'm saying we 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 part of the history as well. So you know, oh man. There's a guy shooting half court shots, and he's so close. He's so close, the crowd's really into it. But not close enough. Yeah. Close, but no cigars, but some might say. City Reapers wrapping up their timeout. It's a tie ball game right now, 13 to 13. This is such a good matchup here. What a fantastic matchup. It's always a close one when these two teams play. And it's like, hey. <laughs> 
Who'd have thought, man? <laughs> Not me. Not me. Alex Starr working the high post. Oh, man. Gets it right back. With a soft touch. Dreamer take the lead. You. First time of the game. 5,000 deep in the chat. Thank you. Five minutes. A man on the drive over to Ryan oh. Pewley. Oh, man, they got the foul there. Right. Looks like he might have got hit in the head. Alex Sarr thinks it's clean. Let, let, let's see the replay, and then, and then I'll tell you if it's clean or not. Oh, Duke, you're not a referee, As so. A boy, no way, boys, getting the go, go through the arena. And we do have we do have Duke on the OTE arena soundboard. That is absolutely <laughs> insane, too, by the way. Whoever clipped that sound and, and put it into the audio dashboard <laughs> is I insane. It's DJ Chalet. <laughs> Hold on. The we got j Mar on the vibe, Kent. I'll take it away, man. Thanks, fellas. Hey, I'm down here with Jalen Martin now. Dreamers. You're staying close right now. What was the kind of message going into game two? Uh, just lock in, play defense, and then play our game. And for you specifically, last night, you know, not you had a huge second round, so last night a little bit slower. What, what kind of was tough last night in the game? Oh, it was good. I just shots weren't falling, but we still playing our game. Uh, teammates stepping up, everybody playing good. Especially the Thompsons, you're kind of matched up with them as like the, the big wing for the Dreamers. What's it like playing against them? Oh, it's good. Just good competition, but just locking in, focusing on our team. You going to win tonight? Of course. All right, I love it. Back to you guys. Appreciate you, J-Mart. Great guy, man. All around great guy. <laughs> City Reapers up 1-0 on this series is a best of five. A win today, and the Dreamers are in trouble. Oh, this? Good cut! Oh, man. See that does? Hey, hey Jalen Lou's going to be one of the people, like you said, that need to step up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, do you all think AJ has a player comparison to OT? Because we were able to decide that yours was Ja'Kai Howard, dude. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, that's very, that's a good one. Man, tough game for him so far. Yeah. K9 Dumped. looking to counter. In and out move drive. Oh. Smoked it. Oh, yeah. Contact. Yeah, no call. So. Eli Ellis, That's corner three, buckets. No. His, his jump shot is automatic, <laughs> <It's> bro. So, <laughs> it's gotten so perfect to the point that, man. Wow. Hey, Eli, Eli just, and when he lets it fly, the crowd gets involved. Yes, they really do. <laughs> like before it even goes in. K9 three. Yes, sir. Oh, the crowd's hype for K9, but not nearly as much as that Eli Ellis hey, threw. Hey, K9 is, is he, he the key to this offense right now. Yeah. I was talking to one of the scouts before the game, and I was like, what are you looking for? And uh, he gave me the worst answer. He said everything. <laughs> Trey. <laughs> oh, Trey. Looking for my player. <laughs> I said, well, there's always somebody who steps up. I had K9 in mind. K9 was the big one who stepped up game one. I think I can see your, your player comparison being like a shorter version of, of Ethan Almanza. What? Like, yeah, like if Ethan Almanza was six foot. I can see that. Yeah. That is crazy. I think that's Bryson right. Warren gets fouled on the drive. AJ plays like Glenn Davis. That's fair. No, he played like a short, a six foot bit job. Wow. <laughs> Instead of saying Charles Barkley, he said Glenn Davis. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He, Eli Ellis with the three there. <laughs> He's so cold, man. Just brush and warm, man. TJ Clark, pump fake. Oh, uh, should have shot with one second on the clock, but probably some miscommunication there. TJ Clark had a great game yesterday, by the way. One of the ones who stepped up. Jay Lou on the cut. Easy lay. Out of the trap, Open. kick it to K9 on the three. Man, and YNG taking the lead. Yep, and here's YNG's road to the finals. Our team is full of stars and leaders. Full energy, guys. Go have fun. All right, play hard. I wouldn't want to face us because you got to play us for 40 minutes. We got a deep roster, and uh, I think we come out with the right mindset. K9 for three. We're just grit and hungry. As long as everybody hungry and communicating, that's all we really need. That's, That's how you get going. Right That's here. how you get going right here. Dogs over here, we don't care about none of that highlight stuff. You don't want no smoke for real.
Dreamer has been playing well so far these playoffs. It's how they made it to the finals. You can see the similar to their regular season stats, but they've cut down on their turnovers dramatically. You don't want to give the Reapers easy opportunities, man. You can't win games like that. But they've been playing well overall, though. They need some consistency, I feel like. They need some consistent players to continue stepping up. And, and I think the more thing, the biggest thing about them is, and they're able to do this for other teams a lot easier. But they need to get four good quarters versus the Dreamers. Yeah, like they they could they could have won yesterday. They can win today. I mean, I'll see they're up three points after the first quarter. They are the team legitimately be, best matched up for the Dreamers. And as long as they're able to play four quarters, Adrian. Yeah. They will steal the win today. Or five. It goes into overtime. That's not why, a quarter. Why do I feel like that took you a long time to say? You kind of slowed the sentence down, man. Yeah, yeah, that took you a, 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 a very long time to get out. But you got it out, and that's all that matters. You know, I'd understand you anyway, like if you just said it at oh, regular speed. K9 over to TJ Clark. Hold on. You see, you see what I mean, though? Yeah, wide open in the corner. You're wide open. Hey, I might know what. Maybe that's part of their game plan. Yeah, you might be right. Big Nate. Big Nate for three. He yeah. knocks it down. Yeah, that, 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 that was the Dreamers hitting threes. That was fluent right yeah. there. The yep. Reapers hitting threes is insane. Let's vibe with Eli Ellis. Oh, Sam, I'm down here with Eli Ellis. Did a big, big three earlier there. I feel like the City Reapers as a whole, you guys have been shooting really well. What's up with the shooting for this squad? I mean, we just work on it. You know, we're high on the shooting charts. We get to work in, so they're going in games. All right, and... Oh, shoot, heads up. Oh, yeah. No, nah, my bad. Um, all right. <laughs> Now you're playing against the Dreamers. They got a lot of different wings, a lot of different guards. Who's the toughest guard on the Dreamers spot? On the Dreamers, you know they get like three or four tough. Uh, you gotta pick one. Come on, you gotta pick one. I'll probably say Jay Gort or Kane is the hardest one to guard. All right, fair enough. And now the Riz God Shams Sharani is here, but people say you're the Riz God. Who, who's got more Riz? You or uh, Shams? Definitely me, 100. percent Yeah, you've been really active on Snap lately. I don't use Snap. All right, you played really well last night. You're playing well tonight. What's kind of been the mindset in the finals? Your first finals for OT. Um, mindset. Right now, uh, you know, just finish it out. We're trying to sleep them, go 3 0 and get home. You know, you got anything to say to Agent Duke and Davis in the booth? <laughs> Who? Oh, yeah, man, keep doing your thing. <laughs> All right, there you go. Back to you guys. Do your thing. Crazy, man. I was just talking to him. He already forgot who I was, yeah, man. Yeah. No, no, it, it was more like no, a, a, a no. off guard question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, I think he actually just egoed us. That's unfortunate. Now, it was like he was talking about basketball, the hardest guard, and he said Duke, Agent, and Davis in the booth. Just, That's fair. Just, just talk about That's fair. Big Nate thought about it. Goes up anyway. Oh, okay. So he passed up the three. Now, I mean, hey, well, let me let me say something real quick. There's something I want to talk about right now. If I'm Tyler Bay, and I watched the broadcast yesterday. Yeah. I'm taking everything that was said highly personal. He should. I mean, everybody they, was they were talking about right now. Who, whoever often they're talking about right now, whoever often on him. Hey, look at this flop here from Trey Parker. This has got to be the craziest flop of the season. That's it. I respect oh, it too. Oh, I respect oh, watching second. film from Chris Paul. <laughs> that is uh, insane. Trey is, is hey, a, Trey funny. A fine is on the way. <laughs> Trey funny. Hey, Trey funny for that, man. <laughs> hey, we were handed with. I know the awards were already handed out, but if there was a best flop, there it is. Yo, Trey tried to do a back scratcher with a one-handed putback. <laughs> the, the rebound of the free throw almost went back to the free throw shooter. I'm serious about Tyler Bay, though. In my opinion, he got to come out and, and actually go crazy. What a pass! <laughs> Through traffic, Bryson Warren just threaded the needle there. And the foul drawn. Dreamers head to the line. A lot of free throws to start this game. Yeah, it is. Kyrie TV says, Davis, tell Agent he's a 60 overall pro scorer with no badges. That is a five-year-old me. Lauren, Lauren, yeah, yeah, Lauren. Yeah. It is. He's trying to bring Lauren. it back. 8-0 free throws. <laughs> he's catching he's shooting. 8-0 free throws. Maccabi. A five-year-old meme is insane. <laughs> Ethan Almanza gets it over to Bryson Warren. Reapers look like they're ready to leave open the corner again. <laughs> oh, God. Man, I can see it coming. Oh, Picked man. off by Azar. Fast break. Bryson confused. They always be looking like they have one. What? 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 I hit him. I touched him. <laughs> nah. He clotheslined him. 
Oh. <laughs> Completely cut off his pad. Asar gets it back. I think he might as well pull up, man. He's been on fire from three. Nate gets it. Working in the post. Bounce pass. Train. Oh, man. Three Reapers. He's not. Hey, the Germans can't win. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's just three Reapers surrounding that rebound. Yep. Not an not a inch of boxing out, man. Insane. Bryson Warren gets it over to K9. Oh, nice man. drive there. Alley you pass to Ethan, fumbles it. Asar over to Bryson Tiller on the drive, finishes. You better wake up, man. You can get real fast. The most scoring one so far here today. Defense chance ringing through the crowd. We need an offense chant, maybe. What's the offense chant? Let's go, Let's Dreamers. go, Raptors. OK. Something like that. Yeah, Reapers, I guess they just thought, like, just give them the two points. We'll get it back. <laughs> so definitely not. Definitely Man. not the mindset. Not. That's, not, that's, not, that's not finals defense right there by the Dreamers. I'm pretty disappointed. Yeah, that's all-star game defense. Bryson on the drive. Floater connects. I need more of it out of him right there. A lot more. I need to see somebody at Jakarta today, man. Yeah. A man. Oh! Swatted by Alex Hard. Okay. <sighs> is, it, is it true you and... Okay. <laughs> what? I, I, I just saw a comment. I'm not going to finish it. Asar to a man. Back to Asar. To a man. Yeah, you go. Back no. to Asar. Three. With 2K, they need a plus 15 to their three-point shooting. About to, that's like when you're trying to activate Dimer, so you just keep passing it yep. <laughs> from the guard. <laughs> Ball gets tipped. Yeah, they came that's it. Rebound from Bryson Tiller over to a man. <laughs> Fast break. Here we go. Hey! hey. hey. Three hey. With the finish. He's looking at him. Alex Sar, do not let another guard talk to you like that. I'm not gonna lie, he kind of swung in the face of Alex Sar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. yeah. First Dre, now Trey. I think Sean's opponent was a good one. He was like. Chikai is like rubbing his hands like Birdman right now. Asking to get checked in. Bryson Warren for three. Oh, what a shot. There you go. This is what I need to see right now. Wake right. me up real quick. I mean, Thompson, nice crossover. Touch pass. A sore open. Oh, my goodness. Well, I need to see a sore shoot that more. Over to Bryson Tiller. Good defense. good defense and good box out. Oh, my goodness. That can't be a foul. Now, the thing is, I think he was fouled by his own teammate. I don't know. Yep. Oh. Here was a man mm. throwing it up to Trey Parker. You know, a man could probably just, he could have just finished it himself. But he wanted to get Trey Parker involved. And, and, look, and, look, and look, look at the look at uh, Alex Sarr. Chris Dunn. Uh, <laughs> that, that wasn't even a dunk on Sarr at all. He had know. nothing to do with it. Nah, he just wanted to inbound it. <laughs> Man, look at like, oh man. Oh, oh, what a move. Oh, Floater. Man, that was you know tough. What? That's very tough, and you never expect that from a seven yeah, footer. That was tough. And he took, he took the right basketball move instead of doing the ego move. Instead of trying to do that. Hey, let's throw it over to the one and only Shams on the vibe cam. All right, hey, thanks, fellas. We're down here with Shams, NBA Go Insider, all that's your first time down here at OT. What brings you down here? Well, I'm down here to watch this, these guys, the Thompson twins, and obviously all the talent here. Uh, I yet to be here so this is my first time first opportunity to be in the gym and get, the, get a chance to see the facilities and spend some time with the guys I know you mentioned the twins specifically what do you know about the twins kind of even going into tonight well the the word that I've gotten is that they're super hard workers great character kids and, and just the fact that it'll translate at the next level obviously both projected potential top 10 draft picks so I had to make my way to see them and now you know every NBA GM everyone in, in the league basically can you tell me who's gonna draft them <laughs> If I knew, if I knew, I would literally be a psychic. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't know. If I knew, I would probably mess myself up in, in my brain and think about everyone else that would be drafted in different spots. But, um, I mean, they're both super talented, obviously, and I think both hard workers want to improve their jump shots. So we'll see how the next few months go for their development. 
I guess we had a big play just now, which is awesome. But I'm always very fascinated with your Twitter account. It's like your baby. Would you sell me your Twitter account for $10 million? You got to delete it and get off Twitter. $10 million? That's all you're going to give me? What, what, what dollar amount do I need to give you to delete your Twitter? Tom, you're a nice guy, same age. I'll give you my account for $180 million. $180 billion. Billion? Billion. What would you do with all that money? What would I do with all that money? Um, I would donate most of it. Okay, and a lot of people talk about your Riz lately. I heard it's a, it's a big topic. Eli Ellis, point guard for the City Reapers, he just said on the vibe cam before this that he had more Riz than you. Any response? He probably does. I'll give it to him. He can have it. He can have it. I'll just be myself. I keep my head down and keep it moving. That's I, We love it. We love it. And between these two teams, what you got? Well, it's a great game right now. Very close game. All I came here to do is root for just an amazing finish. Now you got to pick a team. I can't, it's hard for me to pick a team. I, I, I got to watch them play first. Tomorrow, I'll have an answer for you. All right, very fair. Appreciate you, Shams, as always. Back to you guys. Man, the great, the great, the amount of times he said Riz. Yeah, Riz. <laughs> Hey, Nate with the nasty flush, by the way. Just pushing everybody mm. out the way. Yeah, we're going to have to retire the word risk. Oh, we bro, got to, bro. We can't, bro. It's over with now, bro. Tom good. said it 80 times in two sentences. <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't retire it after he spams it like this. Yeah. Yo, the, the, all right. I you see that one clip with Shams? Uh, yeah, but. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. We had the original pack yesterday, but I want y'all to look. It's even more packed today. Yeah, like, there's yeah, layers yeah. of people behind the people today. Yeah, yeah. they're standing up back there, yeah. Yeah, and just this to let you know, insane. Davis, there is a whole bunch of tubas, trumpets, trombones. I will not jump today. Yeah. <laughs> I, will not, I will not flinch. Hey, Tom's with Sniper right now. Talk about the halftime show. Down here with Sniper. I'm talking a lot in this quarter, which I'm, which I'm really appreciating. But what do you think of the game so far? I think you you broke the record for using the word Riz. I didn't realize there was that many. Now, you have to stop. At some point, you have to stop. But the game is crazy. <laughs> we next to Trey. He didn't call it a dunk, bro. It's, 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 it's crazy out here, bro. And we're going to be hosting the OT halftime show in a little bit. What do we got coming up? Man, we got a feature on the Tom's with Twins that y'all don't want to miss. We got some highlights. And we also got a little surprise for my AMP brothers over there at the booth. Man, so oh. make sure y'all still tuning into that. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited for the surprise, but they've kind of been roasting your fits the last few games. You know what, bro? They have really been on my fits, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think we should take what's gonna happen. I think that should be ours. I think that's a good idea. We'll, we're, you know, you know, and you continue to use Riz as much as you want. Like you have a free use pack. Just, just run it up, bro. I appreciate that, sniper. We'll be, we'll be at the OT halftime show in a little bit. Got a surprise for AMP. Back to you guys. Man, when someone tells you at some point you have to stop, they love you. Hey, but, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, but Sniper, <laughs> Sniper does have mid fits a lot of days. And no, just no, to no, let no, you know, no, Davis no. is the only one criticizing his fits. Yeah, that's <laughs> not true. That's not true. Yeah, yeah. That's not Look, true. Sni that is not true. Snipe put it on. Oh, okay. All right. All right. But he, he doesn't put in effort when coming into the OTE arena. No, Sniper has had notoriously horrible fits a few days. There's some days that he has terrible fits. I have the pictures of the uh, outfits. If you say so now. Yeah, Ooh. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a, hey, now he put it on it today. Yeah. You know, he got a nice fit on today, bro. Which of those? I want him. Hey, Sniper is no longer smiling. I think he's coming over here. <laughs> I don't know, man. Back into the game. Hey, you got to run the ones with him, man. I don't want no problems. They ran this play yesterday. You remember it? <laughs> yep. Oh, big that's job. Right. With a big finish. Executed perfectly. Dreamers with 30 points with three minutes left to go in the second quarter. I don't know if it's great defense. I think they're just not scorching hot, and, and both teams are good defensive teams. No, even if you're not scorching hot, you need more than 30 points closing in on halftime. J. Lou over to Alex Sar, corner I three. Like, I don't like that shot. Air. He, he's airballed it twice now today. Asar oh, almost slipped there, regains his composure. Eli's calling for it. He's trapped. Timeout call. Coach Lato looking to spoil Tim Fanning's birthday. Oh, a little back and forth going on here. Hopefully Shams didn't see that. Or Shams. Sorry. He's on his phone. He's good. Yeah, good. He's probably tweeting right now about the play. <laughs> I don't know what was said, but the whole Dreamers bench reacted to it. Thirty-six to thirty, Reapers up six. Starting a little spicy on the court. I love that. It's the finals. That's what you want. Is that 
I want to know what was said. Yeah. <laughs> Something was definitely said. Probably, Asar probably, has been on fire recently, especially said, from the three-point line, Davis. 100%, man. And I think that's the most impressive thing. When you have someone who's as good as a slasher, who is faster, stronger, and a better finisher than everyone in the league, you try to sit back and let him shoot. And when he hits shots, you give up. Yeah, and we said at the beginning of the season, if Amanda Asar can figure out the three-pointer, there's no stopping him. Asar looks to have figured it out so far, and right when he needed to, it is the OT Finals, and he is red hot right now. Perfect for Deep today. Unbelievable, man. And to answer your question, AJ, he probably was like, hey, man, could you move up my way? <laughs> and they were like, whoa! Yeah, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my guess. Did you make a request? I yeah. think he said, move out my way or else. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That, that's a little more disrespectful. Not really. Yeah. Or else. That's more like an anime line. I know, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in my way if I were you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, see, I like yeah, that. We're getting better. Or in hood terms, y'all better not be right here when I get back. <laughs> 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 Bryson Warren, I guess, shooting the technical foul for whatever was said. Yeah. First technical call of the day. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a couple more coming, man. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be that happy about a technical. <laughs> yeah, you were happy. <laughs> yeah, you were happy. I meant Thompson with it. Screen by Big Good John, mid-range Jimmy. Good yeah, these guys are, are talented, man. Hey, listen, hey, bro, his, they, they jump shot a little automatic right now. I ain't gonna lie, they're a little scary as a my player. <laughs> Word. When, they, when the City Reavers traded away John Ned, you'd think they lost their shooting touch, but no, nope. they just hit the gym and upgraded a three-pointer. Cross-court pass, J. Lou in the corner. Okay, Tyler Bay is most definitely ran but we don't let it go. Great shot by J. Lou. We needed him to step up this game. He has eight points now. Yeah, if the Reapers would stop leaving the corner over, they'd probably be up 12. Tyler Bay. Get back, Tyler. Get swatted. Reapers on the counter. Oh, man. Oh, the Reapers got it. Oh, Amen. Tyler Bay. Look at this communication this all it is. Yeah, a little bit. That's tough. That's very tough. One minute 40 left to go in the first half. Corner open again. TJ Clark oh, connects. He's, not, he's, he's picking nah. up where he left off yesterday. Yo, and it's a tie ball game. Hey, I think all I think all but one three point. Oh my oh. How is that not a foul? Okay. Eli Ellis got yeah. clothesline. Shout out to Eli for just getting up and playing defense, because I would be furious, man. No, I'd be furious. They did miss a call on J. Lou on the other end, too, so I guess it's even. Right. Fade from Bryson Warren. He hits it. Yeah, Bryson Warren is doing exactly what Duke did to say that he needed him to do. Did you refer to yourself in the third person? I, I did. I, okay. Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh. Oh, 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 my goodness. Touched Earth. Big job, got that it. That's the play. That is tough. Full mixtape. Okay, look, I don't like that play. Because Big Job looked up, saw Eli open in the corner, and even though he made it, Three's better than hey, two, man. Hey, did he make him fall? I, I, I think he might have just too. tripped. He might have just tripped. Bryson Warren pulls up. No. I need to see that replay. So I can, uh, you know what I'm saying, decide myself whether or not he made him fall. Yeah, but, hey, Trey been talking crazy this game. Two yeah. for one opportunity. A man pulls up for three. Misses. J. Lou gets the rebound. And timeout called. We need to see if that's an angle breaker or not. We haven't seen many ankle breakers this season. Nope. Good defense being played. All right, let's see, let's see. Here it was. Oh, he just slipped. Chat, he just slipped. let us know right now. Is that an ankle breaker, Come yes on, or no? Bro. The floor was slippery, man. I need to know, chat. Is it an ankle breaker, yes or no? Caitlin <laughs> Lewis. Yeah. Whoa. Exhibit J of wide open threes in the corner. Yep. He made him fall, slipped. Eli, yeah, yeah, he slipped. slipped, he slipped. That wasn't a thing. Eli. Look, man, the OTE Finals continues on Tuesday. We got something special lined up. First, tune in for an Amazon Music live performance by NLE Chopper. Then right after that game is game three between the City Reapers and the YNG Dreamers. It's all going down Tuesday, March 7th, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern time, exclusively on Prime. I love NLE, man. 
I haven't met him before. Oh, wow, great guy, man. Great guy, awesome guy. Excited to see him in the building. Chad is predominantly saying Hold on, no. Is he here today? No, nah, he's coming. He's coming for game three. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be happening on Tuesday, March 7th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so that's where you can find him. All right, which is fun. Yeah, which is, which is great. Hey, we get front row. Yeah. That's dope. I, and what's, what's that song? I am a menace. I want to be just like dude Dennis, so that's what he said. That got to be the remix, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Bryson Warren gets fouled on the drive. 40 to 40, man. We talk about all the lead changes and how close these games always are. It's like there's no pulling away. Looks like we have our big, our first big bonus of the game. Uh, Bryson Warren's trying to argue is a shooting foul. Referees disagree. But it's fine. YNG gets a 5v4 advantage for the next 14 seconds because the Reapers were over the limit when the foul was committed. Here we go. First big bonus of the game. TJ Clark drives, kicks it. J. Lou, same spot. Oh, hits it. Man. Goodness, he's automatic today. He 11 does. points, third three pointer. Come on, man. Six seconds on the clock. Amen. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, we got to let that fly. Oh, oh. man. I think a man needs to start taking those because that's the second time he tried passing out an alley oop and just some miscommunication resulted in a turnover. Yep. We saw it earlier, I think, with I believe Tyler Bay. Yep. But 43 to 40 is the score heading into halftime. Is this the game y'all expected? Uh, this is a great game. I ain't gonna lie. I expected it though. I expected a great game. Of course. Well, I mean, these are the best two teams at OTE, so you expect good defense, good offense, and a whole lot. Absolutely. of Absolutely. And we're we're joined with Alex Sar. Alex, how you doing? Alex? Can't hear them. Oh, they can't hear me. Yo, hey, Alex Starr, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you a little bit. Okay, cool. How you doing? Uh, I'm good, yo. We're doing great. Off to a good start today. You guys have a three-point lead heading into halftime. What adjustments do you think your team has to make to close out? We just got to cut the turnovers and keep getting back on defense, really. What What do you think has been working for the Dreamers so far this game? I think we're just playing hard. We made a lot of threes, so we got to keep the streak going. And I believe it's uh, Tim Fanning's birthday today. Are you looking to give him a win for his birthday? Yes, sir. Got to win the game, you know. <laughs> Celebrate. All right, I appreciate you, man. Head back to the locker room. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, man, we got a dope halftime show for y'all. Don't go anywhere. Hey, man, it's game two of the OT Finals. Second half action is about to be active. Everyone's always asking me if winning the OT championship is going to be easy. And I tell them, does it look easy? Finding a good neighbor? Now that's a different story. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. First half in game two of the OT finals, the YNG Dreamers are up 43 to 40. I'm your host, Overtime Tom, joined my man Sniper. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Bro, another great first half in these OT finals. What do you think? Hey, man, it's exactly what I expected. I didn't expect the Dreamers to come out here and lay down oh, last I did. night. You did? Why? Why, bro? I don't know. Not last night, bro, they was like one possession away from winning the whole game. Now they come out here actually leading the game, headed into the half, Tom. And we got a lot to talk about, Tom. Talk about it. Well, I think, I think an amazing thing is both teams are shooting really well from outside. Yeah. The Dreamers have eight threes in the first half. The City Reapers have six. That's like my one complaint sometimes about, the, about OT is like, can we can we make shots? And both teams came out tonight hitting threes again. And it's clear they're stepping up for the OT finals. 100%. I mean, I feel like yesterday for the Dreamers, it was T.J. Clark coming in and playing really big millions. But now Jalen Lewis has hit big three after big three, keeping them in the game. Not to mention, they're daring the Thompson Twins to shoot. Knocking them down. I know it. I feel like it's pretty wild that Jalen Lewis and 
and some other guys have really yeah. stepped up in the, in the, in the last two games. Yeah. But it, honestly, for the City Reapers, it always comes back to the Thompson Twins. The men in this are, they're a little slow early, yep. Yep. and then they hit a shot. They do something on defense. They're so special athletically. It's crazy. 100%. I love them playing together because I feel like they kind of pick each other up. When one brother is doing well and another brother doing well, it's almost like they're in competition. They're like, all right, cool, I got to have my brother's back. So it's not going to be long before the other twin come in and do their thing. And they both firing, man, taking good shots. I would like to see them be a little bit more aggressive and yep. stop passing down certain shots. They just got to be comfortable and understand that they're confident they can make those shots. They're unbelievable. Future top five picks in the NBA draft. We're going we're gonna to see a little bit more about them right now, a little yep. feature. Also, I want to remind everyone, please, please make sure you like and comment in the chat right now. Keep us going in the halftime show, all right? Here we go. We're checking out the Thompson Twins. Let's get it, man. It's been fun playing with the SAR for possibly the last season. Because we have so much chemistry, and we've been playing with each other since we were in, like, third grade. We got a level of connection on the court that I feel like I don't have with anybody else. Twin to the next step is to go to the NBA, but the end goal is to be the best ever, like, be the best I could be. Ever since I was like nine, my goal has been to make it to the league. And when it started to shape into reality, I would probably say when I came to OTE, when we finally got ranked in the top 25, I was like, oh, we're climbing up. So we're probably gonna keep climbing. My goal was to get as high as I could at first. Then my goal was to just be the best player I could be. When I see the stuff calling like everybody outside the top two pick, a consolation prize, that motivates me a lot because I know what I am. Welcome to the heart of Atlanta for the OTE semifinals. Over 90 scouts, GMs, execs in the building here. I feel like it's like a blessing because some people get to play in front of scouts. With NBA GMs and scouts, it's about improving. I, mean, I feel like that's what they want to see. And it's cool to know there's a lot of people coming to watch our team play. I feel the Twins right now feel like they might have to do too much. I don't know if they feel like they have to carry this team, but it feels like they think that they do. And I think it's a little bit of pressure on them right now. I think it's pressure to do the right thing, but I also think you, if you play your game, like that's what they come to see. I still think I'm like, the best, and I'm still going to try to be the best every day. It's a lot of pressure, but it's, it's not anything that they haven't seen before. Are you serious? Those two, their mindset, they're so wired different than that. It's, it's not like that. Let me tell you again, like I told you last week, man, this is, a, this, this is the joy of my lifetime to be able to coach and pour into you guys. And the only thing I ever want back is you just give it back to the game. What helps me not get too far ahead is being around my teammates. Die. The men, he's just like the floor general. So he's going to tell everybody where to go, hold everybody accountable. Hey, it's not a handoff. It's a, it's a attack. I would describe Asar as a very good defender, very aggressive scorer, a good leader. You know, he helps his teammates. He tries to be cool with all his teammates. You better lock in. You're not touching the ground. Hey, I, I ain't never been around. I'm telling you, I've been in the gym for 40 years. I ain't never been around Two lottery picks are as, as committed to the game. So as a 60-something-year-old, I want to learn from them. Okay? As a 19, 18, 17-year-old, I want to really learn from them. Going into the season, we just hope to accomplish winning a championship. <laughs> from OTE and being drafted would mean a lot because we would be the first two to do it if it was us and it would be fun to make history. The OTE journey, you go in with like uncertainty. I feel like it panned out the way that I wanted and more because I learned so much stuff here that I couldn't even think of at the time that now I know. It was everything and more. Like I can't imagine anything else leading to this. Unbelievable to see what all the Thompsons have done. If you think the Thompsons are going to be top five picks, make sure you throw a like right now. But hey, they've had insane growth since joining OT. What, what do you think about this? I mean, this is incredible. Fifth overall pick, third overall pick. And look at the, look at how many followers they gained. Prior to OT, 4K, 2K. Now, I mean, a mid got 115,000. A star got 82,000. And their middle name is excellence. They were born for this, Tom. They were literally born to play basketball and be excellent. They got the same middle name, they got the same game. It's unbelievable, and look, they, 
when I first met them, I don't think they had ever posted to Instagram. So it's yeah, cool yeah, to yeah. see kind of all the growth that they've had. Absolutely. They've been unbelievable. I'm curious what Coach Lato is saying with them right now down at the, in the first half. Let's check out Coach Lato in the locker room. Man, we, we're, playing, we're playing well enough to win, but we're not, we're, we're not really playing well enough to win, if you know what, that, if you know what I mean by that. Because our, our offensive, I mean, our defensive assignments or even how we, we play offense is not there, okay? So, as evidence, offensively, and I haven't really even called a lot of stuff, we've got 11 turnovers. 11 turnovers. You're not going to win a game with 20-plus turnovers. I'm going to tell you that right now. All right? We're, we're, we're out of sync and out of sorts. We look... from collapsing. You stay with the men. Uh, Jay Mark, you're going to start with the SAR second half. I want, it, I want you guys to pick those guys up. Try not to get them going right. And guys, just discipline with our defense. If you're guarding Nate, uh, Tyler Bay, any of the big, basically anybody except for Eli, Trey, and let's put a SAR in that category also, okay? Because the SAR is three for three from three, okay? So if you're guarding a man even and somebody drives at you, go help. Go junk it up. Good job a couple times, uh, J. Lou, Alex, you guys are in there. Is Bryson Warren, you're in there swiping away at the ball. Great, great. Guys, it's great. We got through that. We didn't play a great half. We're up by three points. Great character half, okay? Everybody right now, when we go out second half, um, get a good warm up. I want layup lines. I want you guys warm. I want to go out there and, and, and start the second half uh, maximum, maximum. Hey, we're welcome back to the OT Halftime Show. We got a big surprise for AMP right now tonight. What we got? As y'all can see, man, AMP has been asking for jerseys, and OTE hooked them up with some custom jerseys, and they don't know about it. So follow us. We about to surprise them so they can see what these jerseys look like, man. Come on, let's check it out. Look at them, look at them. Hey, look, look. They're so they giddy. They are the cheesy. They are the cheesy. They are the cheesy. They are the cheesy. Come on, man. No. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah. You know what I'm wow. saying? Hey, we, we, we wanted to hook wow. y'all up with some customized jerseys, bro. How y'all like these? What? You were hooping them on from here on in. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. See, give them a song. See, see, I'm, you get one off the frame and one in the frame. So you go hoop in it and then keep it up. You know what I'm saying? We gotta know though before we head out. What's what's been, we we love yeah thank me thank me thank you bro. I'm a fan. Yeah, I did everything. Hey, I did everything. Hey, I did everything. Hey, I but hey, we gotta know what's been your favorite part about the OT season this year. Um, I just like the environment, man. It's just so cool seeing these players progress, and they all have a future, man. And it's just I don't know. And being able to do this, you know, this is my job. When I was in uni, I applied to be a color commentator. They said I wasn't the person. So I'm here doing it. That's so crazy. That's fine. It looks great on you, man. We appreciate you, too. <laughs> Davis, you guys have been amazing. We're glad that you got this. That's the OT halftime show. These guys, they're, they're going to be hyping this second half, all right? Where, where's ours, Tom? Next year, man. Next year, all right? That's the OT halftime show. It's going to be an amazing second half in game two of the OT finals. We'll see you in a little bit. OT fans act like they know who's going to win the chip this season. And I just tell them, y'all crazy if you think any team is a lock. You know what is a lock, though? Our fam at State Farm. They're reliable, and they're there when you need them. Just like a good neighbor. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The second half. I'm elated now. Look, I was already excited. We had good, we had a good game on our hands, but you know what I'm saying? We received some jerseys. Hi, my name is Agent Zero. I'll be your host. We're joined by Duke Dennis. Yes, sir. We got I'm Davis here too. I'm Davis in the building. Hey, listen, man. I'm so happy I got a, a custom Davis 32, <laughs> Elite Buggers 32. <laughs> Bro, I'm they're smiling, smiling, so tough, though. Yeah, like, they are. They are. Bro, bro everybody at OTE is some great guys. Great bro. guys. I'm, a lot of great guys. Bro, like. Yeah, thank I, you, though. Really, thank you. I really feel like I'm a part, like we're a unit. Exactly. Yeah, no, like, yeah. we're a collective. You know, wow. and I feel fantastic. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Drew the foul. Like, probably on the floor there. 
And we got a good game for us, Duke. We're being spoiled right now. Indeed. Bro, they gave me wings, <laughs> lemonade, a <laughs> great game to watch, and a, and a custom jersey. A custom jersey framed and one to wear right now. Bro, and I can't wait to hang it up in my, in my room, bro. Yeah, me too, actually. Yeah, bro, it's gonna be tough. Wow. Can I get the frame, too? <laughs> I'm not doing too much. <laughs> I'll order one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have to order one game. K9 with the oh, reverse man. layup. Looking for the call, doesn't get it. He could have got it, depending on how the ref was feeling that day. Yeah, it really just depends on the ref's emotions. No. I feel like everyone was Stop. on the refs for game one, but that was a good no no call. Ethan just turned it over. I don't think that was a foul. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It wasn't, it wasn't a foul. It was a oh, oh, my. A man connects from deep. I mean, it looked like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it was, since I technically got a jersey now, if they need, you know what I'm saying, a, a player, an extra body, you know, I'm... Uh, you you offering yourself? I'm down. Okay. You know how, many points, how many points are you scoring in the finals? Because you know the the uh, oh, Jake Horn. Oh, man, smoked it. An all-time smoke. I'm only scoring six. In the finals, you think yeah. so? Oh, six. What, what type of buckets are there? What type of buckets? Uh, that's, fast that's fair. I think that's fair. Fast breaks. Fast breaks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm scoring fast break buckets. I don't know about all that, but what I do know is we got Tom with a vibe cam. Let's listen in. Thanks, fellas. I'm going to let Coach Leo finish this offensive possession real quick on a men three. Not great. What do you think? You guys are down in the first half. You guys were down in the first half. I never oh, seen. Tommy, it's side score. It's side score. Side score. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I heard you were angry at halftime. I'm a competitor. Should I not be angry? As long as you're not angry with me, I don't really care. Yeah, go watch this. I wasn't angry. Watch the film. Watch the film. Come on, watch the film. What do you guys got to do in the second half here to get a win? Buckle down defense. We got to stop turning the ball over. Right. Are they going to do that? Huh? Are they going to do that? It's a game plan. I don't know. Why is Coach Banning so angry? Why is Coach Banning so angry? Is he? He don't like losing. He don't like losing. Now, I I heard you wish him a happy birthday earlier today, and he didn't respond. Yeah, he, he smiled. He smiled. That's about it. I would probably be the same way. I lost. We got Coach smiling during, during a dunk just now, and now we got a tech. I'm going to go check that out. All right, Coach, I'll see you in a little bit. I already know he's, he's lining up his referee vibe cam. I, I know Tom at this point, man. He wants to know what's going on and stuff like that. Hey, I want to know what's going on, too. He wants to know why he why uh, 18 was given a tip. Yeah, he's so nosy, man. Yeah, bro, none of his business either. Watch, 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 and watch. <laughs> I see him walking up to the ref right now. <laughs> Eli shoots the free throw off the technical foul, hits it. It was an easy dunk from Asar. Asar's been stepping up so far these playoffs, man. We kind of placed really high expectations on both the men and Asar. Oh, They've been delivering too, so hey, he I, did it. I, I saw he has great. a vibe cam. I'm not sure we got a live ball. I can't talk about it. Oh, we got a live ball? That was a boring ref. Back to you guys. We should fire him. Uh, well, luckily, he doesn't have the power to make those executive decisions. No. What were you saying, David? It's Tom. Him say it's Tom. I want you to know, agents basically don't have enough motion to make those decisions. That is uh, I bet if Kevin Hart was doing the vibe cam, they would have stopped to... Was that okay? Yeah, because he has motion. No, that was a little bit. Yeah, insane. it was, wasn't it? Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Hey, so check this He's out. Mo Thomas is motionless. That's what we're trying to oh, say. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Now, check this out. You know what's crazy to me? A girl has asked a good question. What kind of agent seven houses is she going to hang with? I have two. I have two. I don't know why. People keep, the number goes up every night. Every that's not, that's not true. <laughs> every month, the number goes up again. I can list at least five of them. Yeah. All right, buddy. Yeah. Alex Sarr throws it up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Almost Wait a minute. turned it over. <laughs> Wait. I think a foul was called on a star there. No. No. I mean, yes. I get it. Let's let's see what happens. Right I mean, he oh. did. He tried to cast out. Oh, I see, I see, I see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's I, I think it's a song. I think it's a like put his hands on Jay Gore's face. Now, Coach Leto here is objectively wrong, and that's okay. As a coach, you're supposed to. You know, let me not say I don't want Coach Leto to not speak to me in the hallways. Yeah, you don't want him to be angry at you because Coach Leto got motion. He might Good do it. A man with it, looking to answer, gets right. both. Jay Gort on the counter, Jay, Jay Martin on the shot. Bryson Warren, he's on fire. 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 He's
Yeah, he definitely, he definitely heard me. It's, he heard, he heard me. He watched me last game, man. Like I, I wanted to see him, and yeah. now he's been going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, Katie. A man upset at the no call. Just complaining to the referee. Nice bounce pass. Beautiful pass inside. Ethan comes away with two points right there. That's a that's a good dunk animation. Those ones are hard to block. And uh, let's listen in to defense. Tim Fanning's huddle. You got a shark. Good job, Elfie. Tyler Bay is in the lead. Tyler Bay. Try to try to are we ready to play week on that or no? No, we haven't talked about that. Right. One screen. Come off of it. Go get here. Two screens. Come off of it. Go get there. Third screen. Come off of it. We got, if we don't stop turning the ball over, we're not going to win. Hey, whoever don't execute this play, you bring your ass out. Back and forth affair again. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, and this yeah, is what yeah, you yeah, won yeah, in, yeah. The, uh, in the OTE finals, excuse me. Right, NBA finals, hey, OTE hey, finals. Hey, hey, I'm taking it out. The NBA finals, I'm like that. No, I definitely do. I really, you know what I want to happen? I want the Reapers to win tonight, and I want a reverse sweep from the Dreamers. Uh, that, that's a lot of pressure. No, it's a ton of pressure. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have it be one more, one. But that's what happened last year, remember? Jay Moore! That's true. <laughs> Drop game one, one, two, one, three, one, and one. The OT historian. And, I, and I'm sorry for saying this. I can't get over how packed this arena is today. Good hug. Nice tip from Ryan Bewley. Because it was packed yesterday. Oh, and we didn't run it that time either. Oh. Be sure to like up the stream. Go deep, Bryson, go deep. Subscribe if you enjoy what you're watching. And how could you not? Damn. Some of the best basketball going cut, on Cut, cut, cut. K9 gets over to Bryson Warren. He's been on fire, man. pulls up, he hits. He's got better guards than me. Uh, uh, he's got better guards than me. 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 Let him cook. Hey, he heard you. He heard you for sure. Yeah, Katie. Yeah, Katie. Trey Parker has it. Ooh. Oh, man. A little bit of trickery. Trey Parker yeah, in the high yeah. post, call for a charge. Hey, 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 gold. That's, that's interesting not, call. That's not the right call right there. But it's all right. Gold, gold. Man, this is gold, like a gold. under eight-year-old league. That, that's a foul. That's enough contact for a foul. Oh, no, this is an eight-year-old. Cut, cut, Bryson, cut, <laughs> cut, cut. He died. Good pass oh, to break man. the trap. Wide Jay open in the corner. Yes! Starting to build some momentum. Yes. Help me die. Help me die. No ride. No ride. You dreamers, you got to go back to the top of the Boom. toilet. Trey Parker, deep three. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. Yeah, his, hey, his, his three point is. is and, and it's like, as soon as the finals became a thing, as soon as the playoffs became a thing, everyone just locked in. K9, look at the drive pad. That's, that's just a good defense, man. I don't think. K9 was, wow, I think you can't play better defense than that right there. Here is the corner three from Jay Moore. See if that can get him going. And then Trey, Trey just super deep. Just, man, <laughs> don't get deeper than that. The game of basketball has changed so much. Yeah, if you shot that in the 80s, you were never, yeah, ever seen the corner yeah, again. You're going to have to play in, like, Turkey or something. Because, yeah, you, <laughs> that's tough. We got Tom with a vibe cam. Coach, we got free throws going. So I get to talk to you real quick. The refs last night were a problem. How, what's, the, what's the grade for them tonight? I'm, I'm trying not to focus on the referees. I'm just trying to focus on our team and, and playing one possession at a time. That's, that's what I think. I mean, but to be honest, the stats at the halftime, other than technicals, we shot two free throws. They shot 10. But that's not great. And hey, last thing for you. It's your birthday. I just want to say I appreciate it. You've been great all season. The most passionate in the league. He, he didn't really care. Back to you guys. And Tom, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, buddy. I wouldn't let him walk away from me like that. Yeah, no, nobody's walking away from me like that, Tom. What? No means no. Davis. All right. Trey Parker. Trey Parker. Nice pass. Nope. Never mind. It was a turnover. Good intentions, though. Bryson Warren is most likely going to pull up over to Alex Sarr. K9 is most likely going to pull up. K9 is 
Trey Parker, I'm gonna see you shoot something else crazy. He's thinking about it. He's loading. Good hesitation. Spin. Hook with the left. Travel called. I think Coach Leto's like, yeah. Bryson Warren with 15 points. Floater doesn't go. Ethan, no. Smoked it. Rebound back to Ethan. And foul called. That's a great hustle right there. Agent. Hey, I want to take this time to shout out the OTE6 fan Owen Rennekamp from Greensburg, Indiana. Owen's just 13 years old but was asked to join the under 15 AAU Southeastern Indiana Cyclones. His favorite OTE team is the City Reapers and his favorite player is none other than Eli Ellis. Owen, appreciate you and thank you so much for being a super fan of OTE. And Tom got him with a vibe cam. Let's listen in. Thanks, Agent Ham, down here with the sixth man of the game, Owen. You meant, they mentioned it. You're coming all the way from Indiana. What made you come to OTE? Uh, I wanted to be here, and it's awesome. And you're a City Reapers fan. How are we feeling about the game so far tonight? Uh, it's very fun, and it's very intense. Awesome. And Mom, you told me that you guys came here for a very special reason. What, what's your guys' story? This is our mother-son trip. So he, Owen was allowed to pick any place in the continental U.S. to have a trip with me. He chose. This was his one place he wanted to go with his mom. Awesome. Any place in the world you want to come hang out with us for the OT finals. We love it. You got your Reapers winning tonight? Yes. Awesome. I hope I hope you're right. Since you came to Indiana, I'll root for the Reapers tonight, all right? Back to the booth. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Eli doesn't get the call. Tip doesn't go neither. Dreamers have it. Okay. Davis, you've been to Indiana, right? Yeah, I went to Indiana not too long ago. Less than a week ago, Kate. Nice. you like up the stream, and as this fourth quarter comes up, I'm going to ask where the fourth quarter starts. K-9 has like this Man. evil smile on his face while he tees up Trey Parker. I love the intensity K-9 showed the playoffs. Man, I, I love the intensity that I'm seeing today. It's a tough shot. K-9 had jump shot 51 from NBA 2K16. Very high. <laughs> I, I remember the exact same jump shot. <laughs> Yeah, or jump shot 49, one or two, something like that. I mean, Thompson, eight seconds on the clock. I, 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 I would love to see how they're going to go bounce back with this right here. Big Nay doesn't get it, but his own rebound. Big Nay has such a strong drive. Like, the second he puts a ball on the court, he just gets to pushing people out the way. Head to the line now, shoot two free throws. Need both of these, man. We talked about how big a role free throws played even at the end of game one. You know what I'm saying? Got some tens on. Now, hooping the tens might be a little insane, though. Yeah, it is. It is insane. It's an insane it is guy. An insane guy. I was hooping in slides earlier. Yeah, but you're casual. We expect that out of you. <laughs> I'll take the criticism. Anybody that lets you beat them in the slides, <laughs> you're should, done. Should never, ever. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Does Coach Lato have on Gucci loafers? Uh, Gucci loafers by the old Penny loafers. Bryson Warren, quick bullet pass inside to Alex Sor. Travel. <laughs> quick inbound. Reapers want to answer. 
Tyler Bay. It's sure pulled. Did you see that? You gotta tuck it in. I don't think this is Chavo. Yeah, that's a, that's a back yeah. home rush. That was just two, that was two steps into the layup. I'm sure Tim Fanny's gonna write that one down. He'll talk about it on the vibe camp sometime soon. Alex Sar, high post fade, no. Tyler Bates tips it and the man gets it. They're so fast. Oh, fast. Oh, fast. Kudla is upset right now. Now, I, I think I think any other coach will get teed up. Yep, Tim Fanning points at Jay Gord. Wants him to check in. And he's going to take Bryson Warren's spot, give him a break. Bryson Warren so with 15 Warren points. He's, he's been playing go, great so far today. Because my guy's going to respond. I'm not. Coach Leto, looking out for his player. That's all you want out of the coach, man. Trey Parker, entry pass. Cross court to Tyler Bay on the drive. Great pass. No call on that. It's crazy. A man fadeaway three. No. K9 is everywhere. It trips. Gets it back. That was an wow. NBA street move. That was, a, that was tough. Was that, what's that call in NBA street? I forgot, but every time I do it, I get out my seat. It's all it's all. I'm, I'm, it's on the tip of my tongue, I'll tell you this, they used to force you to do that animation in 2K19 on action. We the camera. I want to see some It's on the tip of my tongue. It's nice to be back in the OTE Finals, man. Last year's o OTE Finals was a blast. It was a blast. Team OTE won game one, but John Ed went down. Team Elite. On the backs of Bryce Griggs, man, just upgraded their boosts, got all the animation set, and game two, game three took it to win the entire series and the OTE finals for season one. It was a brilliant moment, man. man. Super spicy game, too. Oh, yeah. I a mean, lot of back and forth. The vibes were great last year. I remember me, Kai, we were sitting courtside. Yeah, great vibes, great game. And the intensity was great. It, it, it's crazy to see to, to say that even with the, the arena atmosphere being crazy back then, it's even better this year. Oh, yeah, it's immaculate this year. And yeah. this year we're sitting courtside. You know, last year we were up there in the suite. That's true. Yeah. So we got better seats, too. <laughs> better seats in the house, man. Not really. Smack dab in the middle. Chuck. All right, just 45.4, zero, zero seconds left in this third quarter. It's been a close game. We talk about these lead changes, man. It's like you never know who's going to go on a run. But no matter who does, man, the other team is always quick with the answer. And, and we've seen so much blowouts over the course of the year. I just feel spoiled as TJ Clark pulls up from the corner. Oh, he hits. My goodness. Seven-point game. Look, Dreamer is trying to pull away. The biggest lead chain, the biggest lead in game one was eight points, and that was from the Reapers. Dreamer is here with a seven-point lead. Oh, what was the call? Oh, was that, was that oh, Blue's green? I think Big Nate traveled, I bet. Oh, wow. We're not 25 on not seconds on left to go. Might as well hold it for the last shot. K9 has stepped up here in these finals. 16 seconds. I want to see something special. Eight seconds. Okay. TJ. Oh, front rim. And they get a second. See if they could maybe throw a Eli Manning. That was a good attempt. <laughs> a man looking for the call. <laughs> if he got that call, that'd be crazy. Yeah, that'd be an insane call. That yeah. would be crazy. This was a three from earlier. Nice penetration to find TJ hey, Clark open. Hey, TJ Clark been hoping in this finals, man. And this is Reaper's road to the finals. The arena has swag surfer going. Everybody usually wraps their season around and prepares their season for the playoffs. When that comes, it's the most important time of the year. 
Well, the playoffs is a different animal. What you did yesterday doesn't necessarily represent what will happen come playoff time. The stakes do get higher and, you know, people start to play harder. Because if you're not trying then, then when, when will you ever try, you feel? The Reapers have just about cruised on their way to the finals. I guess that's the best way to put it. Not that they haven't seen competition. Honestly, their only real competition has been the Dreamers. Because they have been the reason why many teams in the league have been getting blown out, man. 100%. I mean, and, and we, for a while, we didn't think that they were going to lose this season. Um, it wasn't until the trade at trade deadline where it looked for a second like they were vulnerable. Mm -hmm. But before that, <laughs> but before that, they looked unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. When they had John Nett and Santo, insane. And Jakai. And oh my God. Dreamers got a little bit stronger after the deadline, you know, because they picked up Jakai. And that looks like we got an even matchup. And I like it too. I want to see Alex Sauer make a little bit more noise. He's been doing well throughout most of the playoffs here. Got nine points tonight. Oh, man. That's not, that's he should have stayed right there. Yep. Reapers need to make these possessions count. They are down eight. I mean, if anybody can come back and do. Yeah, that's true. Seven. Seven. Dreamers just had a, a great, a great quarter, though. Inside to Big Josh, spin move, hook, no! That's, That's such a great defense by Alex Sarr. TJ Clark, get a little fancy with it. He wants it. Alex Sarr, here we go, no, 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 inside, here we go. Okay. Maybe a little, maybe a little work in the high post. Oh, what a pass. From your seven foot. Eight nine's gonna have Four seconds on the clock. Oh, wow. You cannot foul a jump shooter. Just for three, just for three. Yeah, yeah. three. Yeah, it's tough. Very tough. Alex Sara can get into double figures himself by hitting just one of these free throws. Hey, Chad, honest question. Do the, do the Reapers have a chance to come back? It's a seven-point game. Alex yes, three. bro, yes. I'm asking the chat. Yes. Man, Alex Sar. Phenomenal player, has so much potential. So much potential. At seven foot one, can play perimeter defense. He has a good shot on him, has a good handle. He's one of those players that like general managers and scouts get really excited about because of what he could potentially do. And he's been showing us so much improvement over the last couple seasons here at OTE. He's fluent in three languages, French, Spanish, and English. And he's projected 17th in ESPN's 2024 NBA mock draft, tough. Yeah, in three languages, it's crazy. And he got the second team all OTE. Uh, smoke it. Atmosphere in the arena, absolutely amazing once again. Nine point game, nine minutes left. Literally everybody clap your hands. Big Nate got it. Couple dribbles and a drive. Oh, wow. Jay Lu thought he got a block. But the foul called, so Nate's gonna head to the line. Nice. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. You know, Dreamers been playing well all around. I think Bryson Moore has 15 points. Alex Sar 11, Jay Lu 11, Kane in 11. Hey, chat, y'all think there's a foul or no? Yes or no? I need to see. I, I'm paying very close attention. I want to see. What do you think, AJ? That was a foul, probably. Really? Yeah. Hey, that goal. I didn't think so. Hey, hand hit ball, Kaden, but there's a lot of Kaden, contact on the body. That goal, timeout play. J. Lou, stay corner. Stay corner. Tim stay Fanning, corner. you are not whispering, man. We can, <laughs> we can hear you. <laughs> Everybody can hear you and your TJ. game plan, man. <laughs> unless that's, a, unless that's a, a fake call. Oh, man. That's part of our hey, defense is reaching and fouling. The other night, we don't do nothing real well. Jay Gordon, we know Jay how Gordon, to reach, we know how to foul. They said, they said it's no foul. Jack's saying it's no foul. Bryson, Bryson, Bryson. Coach Leto, a little upset, man. He's not used to being down. Haven't seen the Reapers down much this season. The favorites heading into this one, but find themselves down to eight in the fourth quarter. That's not the sign you had on the game. 
right. Take it, take it, Gork. TJ Clark on the 12. Hey, 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 Over to a man. Get it back. Mid range, Jimmy. No. Good rebound by Nate. Oh, smoked it. At the line, though. All right. Come in. You guys, when you drive, you have to look for Eli. You have to look for Eli when you drive. Because when you penetrate, everybody sucks in. He's wide open on the wing or in the corner. He's not wrong. I did see Eli open three times so far this game, and I'm not even paying attention like that. <laughs> so he was probably open at least 12 times then. I ain't gonna lie, I've been trying to. Oh, never mind, I think I found I've been trying to find the shoes TJ, TJ Clark got on. You shoot shot? Nah, I'm trying to find the, sh the basketball oh, shoe. Oh, you don't know what it is? Yeah, nah, but like. Yeah, you could just ask Tom yeah. to ask him. You can really just hey, ask direct. TJ. Direct. Or that. Direct. Yeah. yeah. I keep forgetting though. No, like... hey, Vegas, Vegas. Vegas, Vegas. Looks like the Dreamers are running Vegas. TJ, Vegas, Vegas. Vegas. Uh, I want to see Basic, Vegas. basic, basic, basic. Okay, so it runs with DJ Gore. J. Lou. All ball yep. screen to Bryson Warren. Yep. Uh, looks like, I feel like the place collapsed. I feel like they forgot what Vegas yeah. looks yeah, like. Bryson yeah, Warren pulled up. That looked more like Back. Omaha. Hell yeah, Ohio. Hey man, come on, bro. Give Ohio a break. It's, it's been a good. bad couple it's months for Ohio, man. It looks like Toronto. Well, how did it even start? Uh, that's a great question, man. It looks like Toronto. Don't do that. We won a chip recently. Good. Good lay. A star with the athletic finish. Who? A star. That was Bryson Tiller. Oh, I'm tripping. <laughs> Boy, that was game. Don't worry, Jack. Agent just doesn't have his glasses on. Yeah, I really don't have my glasses on. <laughs> oh, man. Jay Gorich always been shifting. Oh, move. No. Strong right. finish. Jay Gorich. Check it in. I know they under armor. I, maybe I said that because Asar was complaining uh, for the foul. I just like how they split, though. Man. I'm in with it. Again. Foul called. On, on the floor. floor. Yeah. Yeah, big Nate hit the ground. Oh, that Bryce was. Bryson. By Bryson Tiller. Sheesh. Did <laughs> <laughs> you let Ellis try a tip slam? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, he's so <laughs> shifty with it. I, it did see, I did see the Eli Ellis tip slam. <laughs> <laughs> I love that out of Eli, man. Now, Jakai coming in. Never say never. Hey, Jakai. All I want to see is an absolutely ridiculous contact dunk. Eli Ellis dumps it over to Bryson Taylor. Another spin move. He's on fire. What a move. Yeah, I can't believe he's one of the youngest players in the building. Let's say Ethan. Ethan with it. Good, strong move. Jakai almost finished the tip slam there. Reaper is looking to answer. Hassar gets fouled. Now, you won't let the Reapers get back into it. I mean, it's inevitable. I feel like the script writers wrote it that way. But <laughs> you cannot let the Reapers get within striking distance. Dreamers need to keep them away, man. It's kind of hard to keep a lead in this series, and be honest with you. It's like they oh, have man. an answer for everything. Oh, man. Like right. once, one thing starts working a little too much, yeah. They change it up. Immediately. Adjust. I think that's a product of good coaching, low key. 100%. Dreamers have their work cut out for them, Tim Fanning especially. Having two projected top five overall picks in this next NBA draft on the one team. And you're up right now, six. That's impressive, man. All right, Chad. Six minutes left, six point game. Bryson Warren, I three. Think say the top of the twins. I think they need to put the rock in Eli. Oh, man. In. Easy bucket for a star. And one. That is a bad foul. A really bad foul. Hey, Chad, who do the Reapers need to put the ball in? in? I say Eli Ellis. I agree. I think the only people need to be shooting right now. Eli Ellis and Trey Parker. Yeah. 
What? Depart. No. Eli Ellis, a man in a sorrow. Everybody else, man, if you're open, shoot it. Eli Ellis, a man in a sorrow. Frequent casual take. <laughs> That's a copy no, no, take, man. Go to your star players. Fre frequent casual take is absolutely <laughs> insane. A star at the line. Reaper's up 1 0 in the series. A loss today. And the Dreamers tied up. Best of five, by the way. Quick passes. Inside high post, Alex Sar. Oh, it's Fade. Nope. Hey. Hold on now. Don't sleep. Take up the Reapers. three. Oh, man. Eli with it. Nate, three. See yo. Oh, almost tipped in. That was to tie it up. Oh, oh they get it back. Wow. Eli, open. He was asking for it. I know, I know. Well, I know. Well, y'all exactly gotta what see Eli. Was talking about. Oh, come on. That's exactly what Coach Larry was talking about. Hey, Eli's gotta be frustrated. His teammates are just not seeing him today. Eli should have 16 points today. Yo, he was open in the corner calling for it. I guess it's kind of hard to see sometimes. Yeah, with everything going on? Yeah. Bryson Tiller at the line. 10 points here today. Oh, man. There you go. Looks like Tom has Kevin Ollie on the vibe cam. Thanks, Agent. Yeah, I'm down here with Coach Ali, ex NBA vet Coach Ali, and the head of basketball and coaching and everything at OT. You know, what do you think of the series so far? I love it. I love the intensity. Um, I love the competitiveness. Um, it's getting a little chippy out here, which we love, but they're just playing hard and they into it. Even guys that's not playing, they're on the bench, it's throwing energy. So that's what it's all about being a lead teammate and, and getting buckets out here. So I just love the crowd. I love the atmosphere. And this is what OT is all about. Of course, and obviously the Dreamers are down 1 0 in the series. Yep. Do you see Coach Fanning and the team make any adjustments that kind of helping them out tonight? Yeah, no, it's all about making shots. You don't panic after one game, but you want to go out there and play hard. I know they had a rough shooting night, and they got a lot of shot makers. So those shots going to go in. And if you see our board down there, most of the time the Dreamers on top of the board with the Noah shots. So those shots going to go in, stay confident, stay calm, weather the storm. And that's what a series is all about. After this game, if they win, it's tied. So you don't get too high, you don't get too low, and you play with emotions, but you don't be emotional when you're out on the court. You always got so much wisdom for me. All right, you got to pick a winner who wins this series. Um, I wanted to go five games, and I don't have a winner yet. It's really who stays healthy, too. You know, just the ups and downs of the game, who stays healthy. But I just wanted to go five, and I predict five games. I love it. I hope we get five games, too, Coach. All right, let's finish this game. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. That's Bold take from uh, Coach Ali. Yeah. He just wanted to see some good basketball. He, he's like us for real. <laughs> he like us for real. Hey, Chad, how many, how many games do you think this, this series is going to? Bryson Taylor, nice move. Alex Sarr puts a hand on there. Best of five, so it could go to three, four, or five. Yeah, Steve Reaper's made a nice run. It's a 12 to 2 run to close the lead to just two points, man. Wow. Ooh wee. And that's five minutes left to go, Davis. It's gonna be a classic finish. 100%. I just wanna, I just, the only thing that bugged me about yesterday's game, even though it was a classic, is I didn't get to see an attempt for the game. Yeah. 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 You know? It's nice to see some of the Dreamers who were quiet in game one step up here in game two. Bryson Warren probably being the biggest one. He's been a bucket so far today, and we're so used to seeing it, which is what surprised us about the first game. Alex Saar also making noise, especially on the defensive end, and getting minutes in the fourth quarter. I was confused why I didn't see much of him late in the game yesterday, but been playing well and having an impact here today. J Mart. Seen him hit a corner three earlier. Hey, hey Jalen Lewis hit three threes this game. Yeah. The YG role players are definitely showing up. I guess that's the one good benefit with YG is that they have so many players, you just need half of them to step up and you win the game. Yep.
My bad. I was watching a teeny bopper down there shoot. Go nine for ten for free throws. Wow. They need to check him in. Yeah, they might. <laughs> Cause no, because nobody here goes nine for ten. That's probably. So it's tough. That's tough. DJ Shalei, I just want to let you know, I want to shout out to your whole entire uh, VIP line over there that's waiting to get into the DJ booth. Shout out to the Inbound to Alex Starr. Jake Gora comes to retrieve it. Agent, what is this series going to? 3-0. Really? Yeah. I could be wrong, but I just, I just would never bet against the Reapers, personally. That's just not a foul call. He, just because he flailed his legs doesn't mean he was touched. I think that was clean. Uh, nah. Chat, and yo. the OTE finals continue on Tuesday. We got something special lined up. First, tune in for an Amazon Music live performance by the one and only NLE Chava. And right after that, it is game three between the City Reapers and the YNG Dreamers. It's all going down Tuesday, March 7th, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern time, exclusively on Prime. Hey, it's only a three-point game, Agent. And yeah. I don't know, man. I, I, Who you got? Well, you already picked yours. Yeah, I picked the Reaper. Oh! Wow. Nice strong attempt there. He said it's up to him. I don't know if that was and they, or what. And, and, and they That's talking right. crazy to Alex Star. Alex Star not even faced. He said, uh, You think he said it in French? They both I, know French. I think he said, yo, I think that was like a little too hard of a foul. Yeah. yeah he was like, hey, bro, next time just go easy on me. Yeah, hey, man, stop. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe he said, like, ferme la bouche. What, 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 and he's what like, close it? your mouth. Oh. Mm. Yeah. oh. Okay. A little bit of French lessons for people out there, man. Chad, do y'all know how to say anything in French? Oui. Uh, je parle beaucoup de français avec Bonjour. Yeah, there's, that's how you say hi. Yeah. yeah. Bonjour. Yeah. Je m'appelle Davis. That's how you say it. My name is Davis. I knew that. Okay. Okay. Chat, tell me something in French. <laughs> and Agent will fact check you. <laughs> Jay Gore walks the ball up. Four minutes left to go. It's a tight one. The goal said, the Agent, stop glazing you acting like it's a blow. What? Delay it. I've never glazed a day in my life. Jay Gore, oh, that was clean, man. You can't just call those. That's a Tyson Taylor. A little bit of contact, but if we're calling O's, it's going to be a long night, man. It's going to be a long night, man. That just looked clean to me, man. That was just good basketball. Great defense, but Jay Gore hits the first free throw. Lining up for his second. Bonjour, Davis. I saw that chat. Don't leave him. Hey! Oh, baby. It's the second one. High low, high low. High low, and they call it high low. Yeah, they just call high low. No right, no right. They're running oh. high low right now. Look at the confusion running high low. Oh, wow. Asar gets it, though. <laughs> think, no right, no right, TJ. People, uh, no right, TJ. Don't realize Give it how, the, how fast the Thompson Queen is on. Oh, yeah. Asar on the oh, face. Wait, that was it from TJ Clark. Hey. The Dreamers have an opportunity to put themselves Bryson. in an excellent position to win this set game. Set it, set it, Jay This man right here is going to shoot it. Jay Moore, set it. Tracy, ready to knock it down. A three would be crazy here. Bryson Warren dances, drives. Oh, man. Hey, hey, oh. hey, hey, yes, yes, yes. Warren, that's what called. No, 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 leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. Leave him. That's right, no fouls again, no fouls again, keep it front. Eli. Reapers need to answer. Eli Ellis is not a fan of that call. He said it's a terrible call. I read his lips. Right in. You read his lips all the way from back here? Yep. Oh, oh, man, oh, he can't it. reach. Smoked it. Misses the shot. <laughs> David said smoked it. Any right miss can. You know, Eli, a smoke is like a bad Eli. miss. Yep, yep. Okay. Your time, you your time. You can't just use oh, yeah. the verb smoke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bryson pulls up. No. That would have been a dagger. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Guys, and, and guys. actually, I don't know if that was a foul or not, but because I'm not the referee, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah. I feel like that's the reason why they needed Alex Sorr at the end that. of game one. Exactly, bro. Jordan. Exactly. He's jumping straight up. A big bonus call, though. So City Reapers get a 5v4 advantage with 14 seconds Jordan, on the clock. You gotta know time and score the game, man. Eh? Bryson! 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 Bryson!
Jason. I don't, I don't know if it just got chilly in here with the big bonus. I definitely got a bonus. I didn't go. Okay, now he smoked it. What's behind you? What's behind you? You need to make those late in the game. It's too crowded over there. Okay, there we go. Man. Yep, yep, set it, set it. Possessions. Yep. a foul. Go. Needs both of these free throws. Hey, hey, huh? next rebound, give me a timeout. Yeah, no, we're good with that. Next rebound, timeout. Exify says, petition to give yeah, Eli the rock. Man, I'd love to see some Eli shots up right now. Petition is crazy. <laughs> petition to give Eli the rock. Alex got eight. Donner, J. Lou. He's not complaining neither, though. You love that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's a, that's a good sport, though. What's the promotion about? Trey Parker Alex. ready to check in for eight. Alex, I to check it out. Again, AJ in crunch time. No. Trey Parker's right there. Tom got a five cam. Let's check in. Hey, Alex, I just found out. How many fouls does he have tonight? Eight. So eight fouls is how you foul out of a game? Yes. What do you think about that rule? Hey, get in, get in, get in, get in! I mean, it's something new. Come on, sup. We like new stuff. So. Smile if you're enjoying the game so far. I am. I'm loving out here. Right, 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 All right, back right. to you guys. Eight fouls. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. Eight fouls, bro? Bro, he should have been a pet, though. <laughs> wow. What you doing, bro? <laughs> eight fouls is insane. He probably had, first, he probably had five set fouls. Set it, set it, set it. Boy, it was a whole different ball game. Yeah. You good, you good. Wait, they, Set it again, they, set it again. Set it again, Loki. Again, Jay no, Gore, again. Star late in the game again. Oh, man. Jay Gore is so shifty with it. Summertime. Representing South Carolina. Summertime, yep. Oh, man, Jalen Martin. Oh, where's that? Hey. Nate gets it. This is insane. Time out, time out, time out. Timeout call by Leda. Leda had to run up to the other side of the court <laughs> to make sure the referees heard he wants to call a timeout. Wow. Four point game, man. I'm going to say 8,000 Kaden, Kaden, Kaden. Jamar. I'm with you on that. No, that's insane. Hey, I'm going to put you in the decoy. Yeah, you want to come out? <laughs> right, I'm going to put you in the decoy. Let's, okay. Let's listen in to Coach Leda's huddle. Give, give us all a minute. Give, I mean, a minute, a minute. Give me a minute, a minute. Give me a minute, a minute. A minute, a minute. Hey, listen closely. Nate, you right here. BT, you right here. Trey, you right here. Eli, you right here. Okay, Asar, you got the ball. Where's Asar? All right. When he starts to, like, when he, when he catches it, just get it in here. You sprint to the corner, you sprint to the corner like we did yesterday. It's a wedge. It's a wedge. Okay, no, no, I'm sorry. Instead of here, you sprint to the corner, come on out. E, you go to the corner. So we have a naked side. So, uh, BT, you're setting that screen right there. And on the side, you turn in the corner. You're rolling, they, you're popping. All right, so you got Yeah, yeah, yeah. So make sure, uh, uh, Trey, you come out, you go all the way to the wing. E, you go to that strong side corner with flood. Open up this side. BT set a good screen. Here, go hard, roll, pop, all right? If you got anything, we got corner three, we got layup, we got roll. Man, if you're new to the stream, be sure to subscribe and like the stream. How could you not like the basketball that you're watching? How could you not? It's a big game for the Dreamers, because if the Dreamers win this one, it's one to one, and we only 12,000 deep, excellent night tonight. And lock in. A four-point ball game with under two minutes to go. A star with the Euro. And one! That was a good play. In the clutch. They needed that. Hey, no, Alex Sar is going to be tough in the rebound to finish out this game for the Dreamers. Yeah, they needed that. I ain't going to lie. That's tough. A star making his case for finals MVP. Wow. What a move, K9. The there's nothing here. you can even do about that. <laughs> wow. Probably a step jump. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Probably just foul harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Foul harder, man. 
Asar nails the free throw. It is a one point game with one minute and 43 seconds left to go. Hey, this is how you see who on the Dreamers in big time. Yep. And Dreamers lose this game right here. Like, you're not out of hope, but good luck. You played two good games and you lost both of them. You know, a wise man once said, What's going on? Uh, oh, it looks don't. like a big bonus was called due to the foul. I think a man fouled on the inbound. Well, let's check the vibe cam though, get some answers. I'm just, I'm just listening. I'm just listening. All right, so what we got? So, so after that, after the first, after the first interaction, then the second one, he elbowed uh, Red Zero as he walked away. Right. That, that's the one. That's the one I got him on. Okay. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna do the uh, little power play thing, and then uh, point. No, no, we're gonna shoot the tech first. Shoot the tech first, and then go back to the point of interruption. All right. So, all right. So who's shooting the tech? There's a lot of texts here. What? How many texts were just called? How many? We just one text. On who? On uh, six. On six black. Jay Gord. All right. Thank you very much. Right, we got a tech on Jay Gord. Then we got a big bonus after that. Back to you guys. Man. All right. I don't know. You, I don't know if you exactly. call a tech with my, two my, minutes in the game. A, te a technical foul is insane. Okay, in I don't the know. Hold on. <laughs> no, yeah, he he no, didn't no, get the no. ball out of his hand. Like, is that a technical foul? I, I, think, in, in you the last I think you let it go. In the last two minutes of the finals? No. no. Okay, now that I've no. seen all of this. Chat, is that a technical? Yes or no? Let me know. In slow he motion. Missed. He missed. He missed. He missed. I'm never passionate about fouls like that, but technical fouls in the end of games is insanity. I think in slow motion it was a tech, but in regular speed no. it was just it was just that's a, that's a no call. Sometimes things look worse in slow motion, man. <laughs> <laughs> bro, who you telling, bro? Like dunks and stuff like that? Insane. They look insane. Right. Big bonus. This is a big Ball bonus. does not lie. Now the Dreamers get their big bonus opportunity. Because remember, there was a foul on the inbound. 14 seconds, 5v4 here. K9 drives, kicks in quarter three. Oh. Basically, that to happen. Here this we go. Throw. Potential lead exactly. change here. Here we go. Here we go. Azar has been on fire. 20 points today. All right. Three-pointer! Oh. Misses, rebound! That was a good box out, that was a good box out. That was a good box out. That's a great box out. And they call the foul on the box out. Yeah, yeah. Wow! I, I want to see. I want, I'd, love, I'd like to see that one. What? This is just a box that's out a to good me. Box to me, that's out. a box if out. Anything, to me, that's it's a, a textbook. That's a textbook box out. That's an over-the-back foul. If anything, opinion. Davis, I think that's the over-the-back. He yeah. just reached that's for it, but if anything, it's over-the-back. Yeah, that's a textbook box out. That's very, wow. very tough one right there. Well, Chad, how do y'all feel about that? 75 to 74. Reapers get a big bonus, which means Man. they can take the lead here. I don't know. That was a terrible call. I agree. Chad, how do we feel about that? Is that an over the back or a box out foul? <laughs> oh man. A star. Acrobatic finish. Very tough. And now the Dragon Tail. The Dragon Tail Man. See, the Reapers man. took the lead. And a timeout called by Tim Fanning in the Dreamers. Why did they give it to Ethan and bring it up the court? Great question. I guess during a trap, you kind of just want to get the ball up. Wow. It is wow. so much energy in the building right now. Here was the play. Hussar just doing it all for his team today. And just when you, and just when you think the Dreamers can lay down, never that. They take the lead yeah. deep into the game. Let's wow. listen into the YNG dream, YNG huddle. the ball in, okay? Like gold, J. Mart, you said it. Uh, TJ, you're ready for safety. Bryson Warren, you're here. Kanan, once you get it, TJ, just go screen on top of Bryson Warren. Kanan, you're looking to turn the corner. You're either gonna have Bryson Warren on a pitch, or you might have it the whole way. You said it, and you're right there. Ethan, you said it, and you're ready to cut. All right, all right, all right. Go, hey, let's stay together right now. One, two, three. Finish. Dreamers need the 
this one. Wow. I like that play call from Tim Fannin. We're going to see it. Man, I'm, I'm excited to see how this game ends. Had the Dreamers learn how to finish. Find out next. <laughs> Inbound to Jay Mart. They're going to run the offense to him. Oh, nice fake pass. No tip. Oh, another. Oh, another. Bryson. Bryson Ward. Oh. Just witness. Uh, we just missed it. We just witnessed full blown layups. Wow. One, that's wow. number one. Wow. But we just don't know if it was wow. a foul in any of them, you know? Let's see what happened. Oh my God. Oh, there was a foul. Oh. There was a foul after the rebound on the counter attack. Come on, Dad. Look at all the opportunities, man. All right. There's one. Okay. Yeah. Let's clean. Boom. Two. Smoked it. Smoked it. Three. Smoked four. Four. Okay. Okay. And then a rebound. <laughs> yeah, there's four. Smoked it. And then that's another one. Oh. Five. Smoked it. Wow. <laughs> great, great defense by the Reapers. Six man. smoked it <laughs> by the YG Dreamers. <laughs> now, six smoked it. <laughs> Trey Parker nails the first three throw. Wow. Hey, man, Coach, the Reapers. Coach Leto's blood pressure has to be off the charts. <laughs> and, and his heart. <laughs> Come on, you know how tense I was, and I'm not even a coach of the team. That's because you're not used to this type of stuff, buddy. You're yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe with practice, you get used to it. City Reaper is nailing their free throws down the stretch. Three. Three. Up. Three. Yeah. Just like that, man. Oh, man. Double screen up top. Jay Gore has it over to Bryson Warren. Jay Mart. Oh, man. K9. Listen, if they don't get a stop right now, game over, finals over. Relax. No, I'm not too, too, I'm too old. Too old. They, they need to stop here or it gets difficult and Reapers have to just spend time and no not turn it over. No foul, no foul. No foul. Big knee! Oh, 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 goodness! If you're a man, like tackle him or just put a hand <laughs> nah, up. You know, yeah, there, there's nah, definitely you a fail assignment on, uh, on a man yeah. because you know he's the best shooter on a team. And he's been playing great overtime. today. No hand up, no jump, no nothing. It's been a while since we've seen an overtime, but we've been blessed with one here today. Wow. So is there any time left on the clock? Oh, there it is. is. Hold on now. Wait a minute. We do not have on. Yeah. <laughs> they put 2.3 seconds on the clock. The Reapers. It's insane. Can hit a crazy game winner right here. This right here would be a dagger. Uh oh. A game winner. Hey, hey look, look. And a they, got, they got a lot of time, too. Yep. All right. A man. Let's 
Subscribe, man. You got not you, you, Come on, how hey, could you hey, want that? And hey, if you enjoyed that, make sure y'all come back Tuesday. <laughs> man. Word. Come back Tuesday. It's going to be another word. Word. That was tough. Yo, I can't believe what we just witnessed. That was insane. Here was a Bryson Warren three. A man just watched him shoot it, but maybe he was just setting himself up. Because for, for the greatest moment in OTE history. <laughs> Game two of the finals, man. It's man. always so close between these two and teams. Look at this. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, that was tough. Incredible, man. Yo. Yeah, incredible. I don't know. I don't know if a man or a son, they both of them played so well. Wow, City Reapers take game two and go up 2-0 here in the OTE Finals. What a game and what a shot. Wow. I just can't believe what we witnessed. Man, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm happy to, to witness such an excellent basketball game back and forth. Hey, this is this right here was the best game in overtime history. I agree, man. 100%. It's been a blast. I got it. 100%. Well, look, it's been your host. Oh, wait, hold on. We might have a vibe cam. Oh, it is chaotic right now. We got Coach Slade on, on, on the interview. Coach, how you doing, man? I'm doing wonderful after that shot. I'm doing wonderful. <laughs> hey, man. Have you – have you? I don't even know what to say. It's been a lot of intense games, I bet, throughout your career. But where does this one rank? You know, it, it's right up there, mostly because of the excitement during the course of the game. You know, they had our number for the most part. We got up early. Uh, we turned the ball over. But, you know, we stuck with it. We stuck with it. Our defense rose in the second uh, half, especially in the fourth quarter. Uh, we went to the basket. We started sharing it more and more, and we gained a little bit more confidence. Uh, didn't turn it over late, and, and uh, we had a hell of a play at the end by uh, by our men. Yeah, well, you won this game on Tim Fanning's birthday. I think you might have just spoiled his birthday, Coach. <laughs> I'll make it up to him. I'll put, I'll put a cherry on top. How about that? <laughs> and, and what can you say to us about what adjustments you might need to make before Game 3? Yeah, you know, Fortunately, we get some rest tomorrow and, and, and mostly on Monday. But, you know, we got to try. He's doing a hell of a job of taking away our strengths. So we got to really, it's chess, you know, not checkers. We got to figure out some things uh, offensively to get a little bit more flow. Uh, and uh, and uh, if we do that, hopefully our defense will, will be like it was in the second half, fourth quarter, and uh, try to close this thing out. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Coach Lato. Appreciate right. you. You can head back with your team. All right. Thanks, guys. And thank you all for watching, man. What? Oh, an event we just witnessed. That is, that was epic, man. And probably the best game I've had a chance to see live. It's been your host, Agent Zero, joined by Duke Dennis. Yep. And I'm Davis. Good night. Appreciate y'all for watching. Don't miss Tuesday, game three.